Hello and welcome back to another beautiful day <laughs> in uh, the Division 1. We're just kind of hanging out, doing some calisthenics on 8th Avenue. Like you would, you know what I'm saying? Hi, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Uh, so, today, we're going to hit the cleaners where it hurts. What are you doing over here, buddy? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? Where's your friend? Ah, uh, shit. That's how I like to start start a video with a little bit of murder. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go uh, do the Napalm production site uh, mission and uh, dis delete Joe Farrow. Um, I have a lot to say about this mission. This one is an absolute banger. But before we uh, run over there, I just want to sincerely thank everybody for checking out these Division 1 videos. It means an awful, awful lot to me. I appreciate your time. I absolutely love uh, kind of connecting with other fans of the Division and chatting about it. So thanks again. Like, honestly, I am, I am so thrilled and excited to be able to share this absolutely wonderful game and talk to other people who love it just as much as I do. <laughs> What'd that lady say? I heard somebody. It was just, don't like the looks of that. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've made some very minor kit upgrades since the last uh, episode. I did a little bit of grinding. We're now level 11. We're rocking a level 11 Uzi. Here, I'll just show it off really quick. A level 11 Uzi. We have an ACR. Just picked up a little shit pistol, but whatever. Um, then we still have kind of like our green stuff. Um, lots, of, lots of ramshackle gear here. We're really not that well equipped. We're very early in the game. But frankly... I am having just a wonderful time kind of savoring this game for all of its worth. <laughs> oh, and we, we switched off Pulse, and now we're rocking a turret. Uh, once again, it's a super low-level turret, so it's not going to do us uh, much favors. Um, you know, you really got to kind of spec into that stuff to make them truly worthwhile. But hey, we just unlocked it, I think, from the... I can't remember which wing it is. The tech wing? Who's that? I see, is there anybody over there? That's a good guy, right? Yeah, that's just a woman he driving on the street. Typical you New York. What up, JTF? Aw, uh, what do you need, lady? Oh, and you gave me cargo pants. Appreciate it. Oh, look at the ray tracing. Look at this game. It's so good. Oh, every time I play this game, I just gotta like. I just gush about how great it is. But yeah, I absolutely love this mission. Like, when I think um, Division, just as a franchise, um, especially when it comes to bad guys, I think about the cleaners. These gentlemen right here. Hi, guys. Let's see how much damage our little turret's doing. Oh, that's... That's kind of fucking pathetic. <laughs> Whatever, turret. Fine. Let's go and destroy that on our way out. But yeah, like this, like... I think it kind of, like, perfectly captured um, the, 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 the kind of melancholy mood of the game. Like, they're the ultimate bad guys. They're the municipal workers of the city who have taken it upon themselves to do what they think is something good. Right? Like, they're, they're trying in vain to, to help the people of New York, but they're in very misguided Agent, and excessively dangerous. Right? Like, it's that that moral kind of gray area, right? The, 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 the people who have worked for so long to help the city trying in vain to continue to do that. Oh, look at that guy. Let him burn. What's up, we got? A lot of guys coming. Let's, let's handle this shield. If we've learned anything from this series so far, it's to prioritize shields. Boom. And now we could probably just pop tanks from here, right? Turner. Ooh. This ACR is a little bouncy. It's a lot bouncier than I remember. I mean, we might as well do that. It 
it's gonna cut like the the I mean pardon the pun here, but the the turrets are gonna bring oh, a lot of heat on us. <laughs> Look, it's not even doing any damage, it's like point blanking that guy. But yeah, like they're gonna kind of like try to grenade it and flame it out, etc. So, you know. We can actually kind of use I think the best use of that like baby turret is to uh, place it down and kind of skedaddle. Um, displace and and give basically our bad guys two targets to deal with ourselves and the turret. Is there another wave? Anybody? No. Cleared him out. But yeah, like this, like this is just like it hits me in the feels. Like, and this is another big contributor to why I love this franchise so much. Don't get me wrong, like I was really hyped, like pre-release of the division, like everything Ubisoft put out. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait. This is this is amazing. Yada yada. I was really excited for it. Um, but you know, when playing it, one of the biggest impressions left on me, besides just the beautiful open world, was that kind of like that that organic storytelling. And the, uh, the, the, the real kind of interesting yet, I'm going to call it, uh, this is a technical term, yucky uh, situation that all of these people are in. <laughs> yeah, cleaners are, cleaners are easily my favorite. I don't think anybody's really captured, you know, like the, the essence of it. I mean, the Rikers are a good idea too, don't get me wrong. I think the Rikers are a particularly clever a uh, clever thing as well, you know, the, the inmates have escaped and they're running amok, like, that's kind of terrifying. No, 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 you, you, you. Oh, we dodged the wrong way. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, I gotta warm up. My first game of the day. Okay, keep it moving. I mean, we might as well pop that while we're here, right? Maybe we'll get lucky and kill that NG. No, we did not get lucky. Come on. I want to really kind of sight. I want to really be careful with our medkits because medkits become a little bit harder to come by the later in the mission we get. So right, we still got another duder up there. Hello. Hello, level 10. It is nice to outrank them. That is cool. I also have to keep reminding myself that this is, in fact, Division 1. And I can get away with running around a little bit more than I can in Division 2. So, I think I know the answer to this, but I just want to ask Forbally. If I were to do um, some Division 2 content, would you uh, guys and gals be interested in checking that out as well? Just curious. Um, I still play uh, Division 2 actively. I enjoy the game. Energy bars. Come on, pick that up. I want to give that to, like, a lady or something out on the street. So I was thinking a couple things, and here's kind of how I'm viewing it. Uh, I mean, I have a relatively high-level character. Not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, like, balling out of control, but, you know, my character on Division 2 is, like, my main character is, is you know, pretty well established. You know, like, I have really refined kits and shit. Ugh. Look at this. I mean, just look at the backdrop. Like, nobody's... Ca and, like, the scale. Like, coming... Uh, like, I've always lived in kind of cities my entire life. And this is, like, one of the only games that truly captures the scale of being a human in a large-scale city like New York. But, okay, back to Div, Div 2. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, who's, you know, another dude... You know, posting the same old fucking optimized content, right? Like, that doesn't sound super interesting, right? But I was thinking maybe doing a hardcore character. Like, that could be kind of cool, right? Let's dig over here and steal out of this backpack first. I gotta get my can of beans. Why, hello. I do like this ACR. It's pretty nice. I would like to get a great MP5, but... So one of the things also that I did um, off-screen was I did open up the, the Dark Zone. Um, uh, and astute and very kind viewer left a message on uh, a previous video 
And he was like, hey, dude, if you want to rank up, just, like, get your gear and go to the Dark Zone or whatever, and, like, you'll rank up super fast. And he's totally right. I don't necessarily know if I'm interested in uh, ranking up fast, per se, but I do enjoy the Dark Zone in this game, and I think I might venture in. Not expressly to rank up, but more just kind of to chill. Like, Dark Zone and chill. Because, I mean, real talk, we do probably want to kind of get to endgame at some point. I mean, I like all the DLC stuff, too. Like, all the all the um, endgame content. And so it's not like we won't have anything to play and post, you know? Like, once we get to 30, it's actually, like, kind of, like, more fun in a lot of ways. That sniper's, like, eyeing me up. Come on. What are you doing, NG? Come over here, engineer. Come over. I rapped. Didn't even know it. Come over here, engineer. Oh, that was so corny. I mean, we can talk about that. We can talk about how much I hate contemporary rap music. God, because I grew up, man. I grew up in the 90s. And we had some fucking OGs. Biggie and Tupac. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my rap legends are, like, legend legends. I mean, don't get... There are some, there are some people that I really like. Like, I mean, it's easy for me to love Kendrick Lamar. So, I just want to regen. I just want to regen in peace. Do we want to... Uh, do we want to do it? Is this worth popping? Just to hurry this process up, or do we want to wait? Okay, you know what? I ain't got time to bleed. We're doing it. We'll spend one. That's fine. Uh, don't you hit? Ah, don't hit. Ah, you fucker. He is a gold sniper, so he is going to hit kind of hard. bad. If he's suppressed, we can move up. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Can we hit? Let's see. Can we grenade from here? No, we probably... You know what? Let's jockey up one more. Okay, there he goes. He dropped down. Can we not? Is that going to bounce? I don't want to bounce. Look at that. Why's it gonna bounce like that? Oh, don't kill me now. Oh god. That was that was real shit. <laughs> Get him turret! Get him, baby turret! You can do it! <laughs> Ping, 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 28 damage. <laughs> Thank you, baby turret. You're the hero. <laughs> Just gonna go check up here. We gotta go down there. And there's they're gonna send a counter wave here in a minute, but. Baby turret. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, like real talk. If you're not interested, I get it. I won't be offended. Like, there's a lot of folks that make a lot of great Division 2 content, like, um, you know, so if you're like, ah, you know, I'm not so, I'm not so interested in watching you play that, like, that's cool. But, you know, I'm just throwing it out there if you guys would like to see something that's, like, maybe a little bit uh, uncommon, you know, not the, just checking every little corner, by the way, a little bit, you know, something that's maybe people aren't doing currently, I'd like to do that, that, that sounds like fun. On an old channel of mine, I actually made a, um, I did a, a pistol only hardcore run. I only did it for one episode though. And then I, I moved on to, uh, to this channel actually. Um, and that was really fun. Pistol Pete. It was just a lot. It was a lot of work, that channel. And it was like primarily like a, uh, a live stream channel. That, that was kind of like why I set it up. And I felt really bad about switching to a lot of uh, uh, pre-recorded content like this because, you know, folks are kind of like, you know, they subbed for a reason, you know, and I want to honor the reason that people that people join the channel. And, and I, I didn't feel really great about, uh, you know, switching to a whole different kind of content when, you know, they, they wanted live streams. They were there to kind of hang out and chat and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe I overthought that. Can we Can we survive? Okay, all I really care about 
is protecting the uh, the thing over here. Protect myself. Protect that. There we go, got him. They don't send a lot of counters, frankly. Why am I not hitting? Oh no. <laughs> It was like a weird, a weird piece of the geometry got in our way. We could also get a lollygag a little bit, um, because fucking why not? All we, all we gotta do is defend the, the, the bomb until it blows up. What if I care if you send five or six waves? Like, actually, I would prefer that you didn't. <laughs> Getting that purple shield guy done, I think, just totally made this as easy as it could be, frankly. That guy was probably going to be, like, our biggest challenge during this whole event. We got another red and loose change move again. These guys are pretty easy to nuke down, though. Oh, another purple. Okay. See, look at that shit. And I, I keep trying to replicate the glitch, but yeah, like, you can't, like, shoot down that way. Cover me. Come on. Good shit. What we got? Oh, one more. Okay. Got a gold. You might as well just damage him while I got it in the mag. No, don't you, don't you do it. So he's super suppressed. Maybe we could just like stun him. Oh no, that's an EMP nade. How oh, funny. We get, come on, ting it, ting it, ting it, bust it. Come on, get it. We're like just barely, barely hitting the corner of his tank. There he is. Mm, nice try. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. We'll just restock really quick. Sun's going down. It's beautiful out here. Oh, I love these kind of like, they're not really Christmas lights, but like, I don't know. They're just like work lights, I guess. I don't know. I've never been on a Napalm production site. I don't know the technical term for these kind of lights, but they're very nice. See, this shit is so freaking cool. Like, it's just like organic storytelling, you know? Like, it's just thoughtful, right? It's like, okay, once again, the municipal workers, like, they're taking it upon themselves to quite literally clean the streets, purge it with fire, and, and, and you know, kill this virus. Um, and so, you know, take it to the next level, right? When you're telling a story, what would they need? They'd need fuel. They'd need napalm. So a big way to kind of strike a major blow to them would be a mission where you go destroy their napalm supply, right? It's just good fundamental storytelling. Like, they built this world, and it's living, and it's breathing, and it's fucking riveting. It's so good. All right, so we got some more napalm tanks, but we do have a crate. A combat mask. I mean, is this, like, better? Hold on. I promise I'm not going to be, like, in the inventory very long, but it might be better than my current mask. It's considerably better. Goodbye. All right. Uh, I mean... Can we... Can we just do it like this? I'm I'm kind of used to the, the mechanics in, in Div 2. I'm not going to lie. I don't know, there's just something, like, they definitely smoothed out the, uh, the kind of, like, placing turret logic. Oh, God. We're disoriented. Oh, God. <laughs> nice ragdoll, buddy. And the reload's a little chunky on this ACR, but, I mean, we can live with it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, cool. 
Uh, that's all the bad guys. Let's just do what we can to rid ourselves of the napalm. But yeah, I mean, I just, I just admire. I admire this game. I admire like how they told the story. I'm very interested. Like, uh, for those who don't know, um, I work in uh, film and TV. I'm a. I, I went to school for screenwriting. I work. I don't want to talk too specifically about what I, what I exactly do in the entertainment industry, but we'll just call it a writer. Um, and I've never actually written um, a video game. I've done interactive work before. Like, I've, I've written a lot of interactive stuff, actually. Like, multilinear narrative is something that um, I'm certainly no stranger to. Uh, but I, I, I've never kind of crafted a narrative, like, video game experience. And if I wanted to use kind of like... If I was going to kind of like point at something that I would want to use as an inspiration, it would sure should be this game. Like, I just love, 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 love the way they built the world and the, the way they tell the story. Because I think when you think about story in video games, like, you think, like, you know, Last of Us, God of War. Like, very traditional kind of, you take agency away from the player and go to a cutscene and tell them a story. And not to take anything away from those absolute masterpieces, like, they're, they're, they're on a whole nother level and they're pushing the medium forward. But... For my money, as a player, like I really enjoy kind of gameplay first, um, and and a big element of like gameplay first is is being able to tell that story through the actions and interactions and the the gameplay world. Let's see if we can get in again. Oh, a super ninety. Fuck off. <laughs> I take it back. I hate gameplay. Fucking shotgun super 90s. Get out of here. All right, so we're about to show down with the man himself, Joe Farrow. And we're going to ensure that this guy, uh, he never calls into another radio station again. Yet another great storytelling uh, technique that they use in this game with the kind of like the radio interviews and shit. Oh, it's so good. It's so well done. All right. All right, it's boss time. Um, I'm hoping not to die, but I think there's a there's a decent chance that we might we might take a death or two. Just gonna throw that out there. Like Joe Farrow's a he's a thick boy, he's a thicky. Boom 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 boom. This is really cool. Sorry, I just, ended, just went back, went backwards. I'm just looking around, soaking it up. You are now leaving the safe area. Like, doesn't this shit feel like a rave? Like, this feels like the kind of place where you go to catch herpes or Om Omnicron or whatever. What or both. <laughs> Herpicron. Right, so, okay, there we go. I think that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, see what I'm saying? We gotta, like, spread out a little bit. Like, we gotta kind of like... Oh, there we go. We're doing it again. Boom. Yeah, like, we gotta put our turret up and, like, switch positions. Give them... Give the, the AI uh, two separate targets to shoot at. <laughs> Come on. I'm just gonna spray. Nice job, turret. Nice job, baby turret. If it wouldn't give me a copyright strike, I'd, I'd do a baby turret uh, parody of uh, Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Right. Come here, you. Come here, level 10s. That, <laughs> that turret's a lot beefier. Boom, 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 boom. Come here, you. I do play. I, do, I am playing pretty cautiously. Like, I'm not going to lie. There we go. Oh, so here he comes. Right, so, big boy's coming right out of uh, the front door there.
Um, I think a good strategy here would probably be to, like, kill Blue Strange. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna be like the, the the little red dudes that are gonna like actually harass us and deal damage. Cause Joe is tanky, but he's not like he's really slow, he's easy to avoid. He's not like a huge threat, frankly. So we can kinda just like, you know, obviously keep Joe in our radar, but kill some of these dudes. We're, speaking of Joe, where is it? I was kind of losing uh Go, oh, baby turret's down. Repeat, baby turret is down. <laughs> All right, come on, Reds. Where you at? If Joe's going to come this way, I need to know. I need to know. I mean, fuck it. If they're not going to show up, we might as well do some damage, right? There they go. There they go. Nothing a little blind fire couldn't fix. He's almost dead already. I'm just going to switch to a safe position. Nuke him down. Alright, armor is down. I love you, Joe. I love you, Joe. <laughs> Detonation sequence. Oh, shit. We got to escape. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Don't you, you guys are not allowed to kill me now. That's against the fucking rules, both of you. Right, let's get what we got. We got a blue. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shit. Are we, we're going the wrong way, huh? Okay, okay, okay. I'm hoping that this isn't like... Like, they don't have a timer on screen, so I'm assuming it's not like a real timer, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not like a gameplay timer. It's just like a fucking... Where? Where? There it is. Okay. Go, go, go. Dude, do you not see what's going on here? I will take your leather holster, though. Thank you, sir. So where am I supposed to go? No. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is really stupid. Yeah. So it's you're supposed to go down, right? Yeah. And then it like it's oh there it is. God damn it. You really should not take an elevator in a fire. Just saying. That was really dumb. I like I don't know, maybe the fire like it was like the orange of the fire. I couldn't like find my way out of there. <laughs> that makes me really concerned just in case I'm ever caught in an actual, God forbid, a real fire. Just, just, I just panic and spaz out. All right, cool. <laughs> and uh, another super ninety? Uh what? <laughs> Did you not hear me talking shit about the Super 90? Ugh. Alright, let's hit the streets really quick. Anything going on out there? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Wow. The building's not burning, though. You can't, like, see the building. I mean, the, the cleaners really are, like... Well, they're, like, trash guys and shit. That's interesting. That was really cool. Ah, that was really fun. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did playing. Um, if, you, if you're if you enjoying the Division content, please drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub, do all the things, interact with the video, and let me know. And uh, please share your kind of Division experiences down below as well here. One last thing. Let's see if we'll give her like an energy bar or him. You need a med kit? And he gave me ballistic gloves. That's uh, that's pretty nice. You know, I gave somebody like canned food once, and they gave me a fucking shotgun. So I don't know if ballistic gloves are really the best thing I've I've uh, I've received. I, I feel like I feel like that wasn't a great trade by the standards that have been set. <laughs> okay, that's enough haggling, poor starving civilians. I will see you again later. Thanks again for joining. Have a great day.